Joe Zach, isn't it? Hey? Yeah, beautiful, Bill. And a very good evening, everyone. Here we are live right through our Queensland with the footy show for tonight. And I have a feeling it's going to be a biggie. You reckon, Bill? It is going to be I a hope biggie. So, mate. Will you just try and pull your weight and get into it, Kevin? I'll be there, Billy. All right, folks, let's introduce the panel to you once again. Uh, Tony Durkin, half a scoop, quarter scoop. Nothing's happened there, Durkin. Uh, very disappointing. Keep tuned. Very keep tuned. Oh, You've been saying that for six months, Dirk, eh? Okay? Mate, when I come up with one, it will be a biggie. You That's what I said to a girl at the underground the other night, but it didn't happen. <laughs> Can we start the show again? I think we should. I think we should. Did you see, Sadie? You and I have a feeling it's going to be a big one. <laughs> Gary Belcher is here uh, with us, of course. John Quayle's love child, Donna Lynch. Thanks very much. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, I think where Mum and Dad are starring on the show a little bit later. We'll be down to Merton Street later on the show, mate. Which street? Merton Street. Merton Street. What's Alfie Street up there where you used to live? Uh, Ferret Street, I think. Ferret Street. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Michael O'Connor, how are you, Mick? Hi, Billy. Are you thanks. grumpy or a good mood? What's the story tonight? I'm happy. Happy? <laughs> <laughs> That's a worry. You mightn't be after I get through some of these letters. Letters of the week coming up. Here's our first one from Anne Marie O'Callaghan up there at Stanthorpe. My mother and I tape your show every week, which is illegal, by the way. Uh, <laughs> for my dad, who is in a nursing home. He really enjoys the show and looks forward to seeing the tapes. I'm writing to ask if you could send a cheerio to him. It would be greatly appreciated. Not a problem. His name is Brian. How are you, Brian? Uh, very good evening. Hope you're enjoying the show. There's not much of it so far, so you've got to. Uh, also, this is, this is where it starts to go downhill, the letter. Uh, also, I think Kevin Walters is a hunk. Who's in hospital? It is from Stanthorpe. They actually do this show in Braille now, Bill. Uh, yes, right? yes. Please say hello to him for me. Hello, Kevy. And I enclose a badge from my own hometown for you to pass on to Kevy for me. It's a little badge with Stanthorpe on it, Kevy, so it'll come in handy for you. It's from the... She bought it at the Grapevine News. That'll sit nice in the... Yeah, that'll be great. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks very much for that. That's you wonderful. can wear it on your kangaroo... On the kangaroo Kevy, say it like you mean it. Oh, I did say, so. I said, that's, <laughs> thanks very much for that. Okay. <laughs> you nearly said that. something else. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. All right, here's one from uh, Wellington Point. Lindy uh, Payne down there. Uh, here's a question. If John Quayle, Greg McCallum, Graham Annesley, Vince Bruce, Ken Arthurson and Graham Hughes all jumped off the Sydney Harbour Bridge, who would hit the water first? Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> But none of them would get hurt as they would all think they can walk on water. <laughs> uh, here's Ray, Ray Marney of Sunnybank Hills. Could you explain why the prize played for in the uh, current competition is called the Winfield Cup? It's no more like a cup than my wheelie bin. <laughs> <laughs> why isn't it called a trophy? Well, which is good right. Point. Good yeah. point. There's Ray. one for you, oh, They'll probably change that, won't they, when the yeah, Winfield Cup's gone at the end of next what about, year? Whenever what about who cares? <laughs> Well, that's what we could say about that current Lowe's ad, too, I might add. <laughs> you come up a shocker in that one. Rapunzel. Oh, oh dearie me. You look lovely, Michael. Here's thanks, the lucky last. <laughs> Ern Nichols of Ashgrove. You get up too early in the morning, that's your trouble, Donna. <laughs> Mr Quayle thinks the Broncos should thank him for not suspending Alfie when Kieran was punished. This is absurd. If someone cuts off one of your hands, should you <laughs> thank him for not cutting off the other? <laughs> What should be forthcoming is an apology for the trauma caused to an innocent party. Congratulations on your show. So if you'd like to write to us, here's the address uh, that you're after, the footy show mailbag. Uh